All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. I just gave her some bad news of things, some, something that she has to get done that she doesn't want to. So I apologize for that. I'm a little bit stressing right now. Killed the mood. I didn't realize I had to get something done and all that went into it. We are checking out another clip from Room 101. We checked out one earlier. We reacted to Russell Howe, who apparently she said a lot of people don't like him. More the comment section. I didn't read the comment section on that video, so I wasn't aware. We had a great response to his uh, his little thing. Well, he was, I think, bashing American News, so that's probably why. But anyways, um, we reacted to him talking about kids being grumpy. This is not him. This is someone else who has kind of like a, Another a divide uh -huh. of the audience. We're looking at James Acaster. And what's he doing on this one? Destroys living on a prayer. Now, the song? Know, yes. Do you know who that's from? Bon Jovi. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Now, I won't sing it for you. You're welcome. But it's a fantastic song. They, ha they have an album, had an album, Slippery When Wet. Huge album when it first came out in the 80s, I believe it was. And then they've had several hits since then, but that was like their big album. I can't, I can't remember which album this song particularly was from, but they have a great catalog of songs. I just, I feel like for myself, I don't listen to as much as I should. But regardless of that, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to check this out. If you like our reaction to this anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. And I do understand uh, some of the trepidation of love on James Acaster. I get that. I'm not, I don't know too much about Russell Howard though, so I'm very interested. I, if I'm remembering that, I just remember the comments because I just breeze through them. A lot of times I'll just like the comments. I don't always I'm breezy. comment back now, but yeah. Yeah. So anyway. You can't say you're breezy. That totally negates the breezy. But what, are they, what were they saying in the comments section? I can't remember, honestly. I just remember something about him and not liking him. I can't remember. <laughs> Very informative. Well, I, it's like CNN. I over have here. been terrible with remembering things lately, specifically like facts and information. And I recently found out that the medicine I'm on creates a problem with short term memory. So that's what I'm going with. You've always had issues with short term memory. So now it's doubled. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heaven help me. Here we go. Okay, we just got time to hear a bonus choice. Let's see what Jack. He just pulled his ear like he was giving a secret signal. like something Or he had an something. itch. Or he was given a secret signal. Yeah, that's gone. very possible, yeah. Very possible. He's always so pissed off. living on a prayer. <laughs> oh. I know it's gonna, it's gonna split people, but uh, it's part of the reason I hate it. There's loads of songs I don't like. It's fine. But I'm gonna hear that song for the rest of my life until I'm dead. And I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like the fact that it will always come up at weddings, uh, in pubs. All right, had a little technical difficulty. We're going to continue on. Here we go. Uh, in pubs, everywhere. I hate it when I'm in a, uh, a bar or something and it's on and everyone's dancing and the DJ puts the volume down on the chorus so that everyone goes, whoa, you bunch of idiots. <laughs> Why are you all doing that? You don't, none of you love it. It's no one's favourite song. We've all been brainwashed into going along with Living on a Prayer when it comes on and everyone just, eh. it's, all, it's so bad. Oh, man, I hate it. Just put it in now. Just put it in now. I hate it so much. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Normally, the DJs you've experienced, do they just go down for the oh, oh? Yeah. Or do they stay out for living on a prayer as well? So the audience... Yeah, going down for the oh, oh bit. Yes. And then everyone kind of goes along with living on a prayer. I've always thought the true test of a DJ is hi-ho silver lining. Yeah. And yeah. it's the one that doesn't <laughs> cut off the it's. Yeah, right, so yeah, you yeah. want the and it, and then you got to get, let's try it. We've actually got that here, and I'll yeah. give, <laughs> give you an it. So yeah, I hope you're going to you're going to join in on this. Say everything is moving. Here we go. When your tires are flat, and it's high oh, silver lining. It's what people love. Oh. I don't know that song. It's all right. All right. I'll all right. Accept all right. That. <laughs> I accept that song. That's okay, a nice but... song. Well, let's try it. We're living on a prayer, oh, shall we? Oh, my God. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> they all look like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call them a bunch of idiots. Oh, it's a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I looked out when you did high-ho silver lining. You looked happy. There was happiness in your eyes. <laughs> when you did that, there was just look in your eyes of, ah, oh, kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anyone who used to work on the docks? <laughs> I don't like the song at all. Thank you. 
But I was that bloke, and there was one bit when I wanted to pluck an apple. <laughs> from the tree. That's the bad and thing it, about it as well. It's Even not if you right. don't like it, it can somehow get you. It's like when people slow down the other side of the motorway. Whether the traffic jam or actually oh, yeah, 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 yeah. down the, on the other side. Well, you know it's wrong, but they can't help doing it. So you're comparing <laughs> that with the man <laughs> dancing <laughs> to a song in an exuberant I, fashion. I think I'd probably say it's as bad. It, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll go along with Heston. It's as bad as an accident on a motorway. <laughs> 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 OK, what I um, gather from this is you don't like living on a prayer. <laughs> I, I can't stand living on a prayer, but I, I didn't realise it until you talked about it. I, so, although it's a bit eccentric, I am going to put the song Living on a Prayer into Room 101. <laughs> so, it's the point to get him to agree? I guess. I don't know. So okay. kind of confused on the game show. We like watched the entire yeah. episode to better Explain understand. Is one hundred and one like the get rid of? Is it to get under agree? Yeah, I don't know. But I I will say my hatred for that song is not as bad as James the Caster, but it, it's not my favorite song. Bon Jovi is not my favorite band. Even is it not your favorite song because you've heard it so many times? Well, no. Even when you were talking about them, I was like, oh. Are you crazy? Okay, but. This is the same girl that says she cannot stand like heavy metal or like disturbed hard rock, but she listens like to this emo rock. I'm not sure how it's any different because you have the ah, and the whole angst and the whole this or that, but it's a, so, somehow it's completely different. Because when you listen to like Hawthorne Heights, Silverstein, Finch, Tinky Buck Sunday, it's not like this evil ah, Metallica's like. Are you kidding evil. me? No, no. What, what, what makes it evil? No, because they go. Eh! Like they do, it's, it sounds like a goat is dying for crying out loud. Please. How is it any different than someone going to like the deeper part of like their the register and going, yeah? Like what are you talking about? It's not. It's exactly the same thing, but yours is more high pitched, more like angsty, more like youth, just like yelling at a waterfall. Are you crazy? I see you can't get me going now. I'm I'm shocked. I'm surprised. I love Bon Jovi. I love their music. I love even they have a new album like every few years, even in their older age. And there's always at least one song on each album. I say that's a really really good song. They've done the other ones. I can care less about. But they have lasted a long time. I'm completely you know shocked to hear you say that. Taking Back Sunday has lasted a really long time. Death Cab for Cutie has lasted a really long time. I'm not time. saying that qualifies them as being a band that you should like. I'm just saying they've lasted a long time. So they have obviously a lot of fans. I mean, you've heard of Bon Jovi. How many of you have heard of Hawthorne Heights for crying out loud? You shut your mouth. And so... But this is the thing, like, before you said that, I was like, okay, this I is just... I hope you guys have all heard them, and you write it in the comments. I have heard yes, them. Yes, just let I me know. But let me just finish this real quick, real finish quick. Finish your rant, Nick. It, it's amazing how you can trash them, but then when I say the same thing about your band, you get all defensive. But this is my point. Just saying, because you said that yours has lasted a long time, and so has mine. Okay, get it all out before just I can finish clarify. my point real quick. This is my point, okay? This is a British show. Bon Jovi is an American band. Part of me has to say just a little bit that maybe there's a little bias against it because it's an American band. And we, I have found, at least, in a lot of the comments, not all people, but, you know, Americans aren't favored the most, right, by people in the UK or all of Europe, perhaps, or all the world, for crying out loud. Which is If Bon Jovi was a British band, I think it would instantly elevate them. And maybe so. But Thank I would you. like to say, for all the people who do crap on Americans, and they do. I was watching this clip from this British guy, and he was like, everybody says how Americans aren't well-traveled because they don't travel Europe. He's like, but I've been in the States for six months. And he's like, they're well-traveled, but their country's so large, and every single state is like its own country, that they're just traveling the United States because there's so much to do, so much to see. You have everything here. It's like, and he was saying how you could go in England. If you're in London, you can get to Amsterdam. Now, he said 45 minutes. I don't know if that's true or not. You guys tell us. But he was saying how you can get to all these different countries, Belgium, France, and just a little bit less than an hour. And here, for us, an hour later, you're still in Las Vegas. If yeah, we want to go to you're California, and you're south, taking a five-hour drive. If you're in the southwestern part of England, you're not going to be able to get to Amsterdam in 45 minutes. Well, he was saying from London. 
but I don't know. I'm just, maybe the train. All I know is I'm just saying is that yes, people tend to harp on Americans, but I think if you were to get to know us individually and not the loud ones that you see in the news that are idiots, you'd realize that we're pretty cool people. Well, it's the issue with all types of stereotypes. Like every single type of stereotype of anything is not going to be even true. It's it's the uh, caricature mm -hmm. of like the worst possible from that thing. Anyways, I didn't want me to turn into that. I'm just saying. I love Bon Jovi. I'm obviously the only one, even though they've sold millions and millions of copies of their records. I love that song. Everyone else in there knew what the lyric was and was singing true. along. It's true. Just saying, it's have true. some respect. I just can't believe everyone. I'm like, yeah, I hate yeah. it too. That was crazy. Let us know what you think about our reaction to this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.